this is my outfit today. Can you see my outfit? I have to crouch. I feel very best dressed inspired. Oh, I love you, Ashley. I just basically aspire to be you. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Um, as you can tell today I look a bit different, I look a bit, um, what's the word, disgusting. Um, I have a giant spot on my face that I've tried to cover with my fringe so you can't really see it that well. But I wanted to be productive and do something, hence why I've got my camera, my little light out and everything. And I have my makeup laid in front of me and I am going to do an old school makeup tutorial. So a while ago, I wanted to change up my usual makeup that I was using. I was using a lot of like cheaper brands and my skin just really wasn't liking it. It would break out so much and I thought, you know what, let's spend a little bit of money and try and get some decent makeup. Just treat myself. So I heard a lot about Glossier. A lot of people that I was following on Instagram and YouTube were using it. I kept getting advertised it and I just fed into the ads and I decided to buy a load of different random things. That was back in July of last year and I have not looked back since. I absolutely love Glossier. I'm a Glossier whore. I flip in or buy all that new stuff. I just love it. I really do. But if you haven't heard of Glossier, they are called like the girl next door makeup. They're very minimal and, and they try and make it look like you're not putting on makeup to begin with. They focus a lot on natural beauty. Today I just thought I would give you a little review and slash show you how to do my makeup because a lot of it is Glossier apart from a few benefit stuff um, that I just haven't been able to <laughs> let go but I just thought I would get into it and show you how I do my face. So first off, you're going to want to tuck your hair behind your ears and make you look like the naked mole rat of Kim Possible. I recently switched to the Cetaphil face wash on my skin and it has done wonders. So I've started to try out their face cream and it is actually really good for dry skin. I like a tomato. I then prep my face ready for all the crap that's about to go on it. I mainly just put this on my nose and the areas that get most oily during the day. And now for one of my favourite parts and most important, your eyebrows. So I normally brush from the front all the way through to the end of your eyebrow and then get another brush to sort of neaten them up. And there you have it, your eyebrows. Now time for skin tint. Skin tint's job is to basically even out your skin tone without giving that full coverage look. This works really well if you're like me and have red patches in your skin rather than spots. Now we're going to go in with concealer. This concealer actually uses elastic micro waxes which move with your skin rather than being cakey. So this is really good for covering dark speckles and spots while looking dewy and natural. Now time to set all that face stuff you just done with a powder. The Glossier powder is actually a loose one rather than a pressed and this is really good because it doesn't come off chalky or very like visible on your skin, it kind of just blends in and it's really good if you're like me who has super oily skin. It's blush time, it's time to make yourself look like a rosy cheek pixie. Um, Cloud Vein is really pigmented so I would proceed with caution and only add a little bit. I put it on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose and just sort of blend it out. Now to finish off that we're going to go in with our highlighter. I'm using the Complexions palette by Benefit and I use the more powdery one for my cheeks and my eyebrows and stuff and then go in with the cream one for the corners of my eyes and my lips. Now moving on to eyes, we're going to use Lidstar. Lidstar is essentially a liquid eyeshadow that you just sort of put on your eyes and blend out with your fingers. It gives a bit of colour and sparkle. Oh, before I forget, I like to add freckles to my face. I use the Benefit eyebrow pencil and sort of just poke around at my face until it looks cool and natural. Now to finish off that eye look that I rudely interrupted, we're going to finally go in with our mascara. 
lash stick gives that more natural looking eyelash rather than the clumped up one that I think me and a lot of people are used to. Lastly is our lipstick. What I love about Generation G is the colour is not what you immediately see. You have to really build on it until you get the desired colour that you want. It's also matte without being like super dry and desert lips which is a lifesaver really. <laughs> And there we have it, I look a bit more human now. I mean, this is a very minimal makeup look. If you like something that's very obvious you're wearing makeup, then Glossier might not be for you. When I first tried it, I was so used to using a foundation and regular like thick coverage makeups. And when I use this, it's very, you build on it to create a more coverage look. But basically, Glossier makes you want to like your skin more. It made me love my skin a bit more than always trying to make it look different every day. It just more accentuates your natural features, as some people might put it. I was about to finish and I realised I didn't talk about the packaging. I still have my packaging. Glossier have an option of you getting a makeup pouch bag thing when you purchase your order. You can actually say if you don't want it, if you want to like minimalize your packaging, which I'm all for. Oh, and you also get stickers. This was the full 2019 sticker. And yeah, I just stick it on there, it's really cool. The packaging is also this really nice, is it gonna show? Sleek looking packaging, with just like glossy written down the side, it's like baby pink and stuff. They're really cute packaging, there's nothing really to say about that, very nice. So yeah, thank you for joining me for my very awkward everyday makeup look slash glossy review. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to link all of the products that I used on my face below. Like, subscribe, leave a little comment if you want to. I'll see you next time. That is all. Goodbye, everybody. See ya.